right, everybody. Happy New Year. Glad to see you. Um, we're about to start our next segment of our Season 4 run. This is Cycle 4. We're in Desolation. And it looks like we're sitting on about 1.5 million points. And we did go ahead and uh, uh, enable the Blessed Quiver, so that's what we're using. Uh, I guess let's, uh, let's get into it. Desolation 4. Good times. All right, we're starting Desolation 4. Looks like we're down two health. I have a full quiver of Cat 5, two-thirds of a quiver of Tempest, uh, down to seven Wrath of God, and a full quiver of Winner's Bite, which I will undoubtedly be using a lot of. 1.56 million starting with. I had cat fives, and that's okay. Shot in. That's our. That's our goal. Okay. Uh... All right. So we have a hole in the ground here. We're gonna use it to. Take a look around down here. We got some stuff coming after us. Take out anything we can take out without being actually in the zone to pick up any of the extra stuff. There is Mr. Screamer. That's okay. We got Pitcher's Bite. That is our that is our friend in Desolation. down the hallway here and see if we can get anything else to come after us. Good. Anything we can, we can get out of there is to our benefit. I'm going to pop up here and take out this monk. I guess this is the other side of the, or the, the entrance exit side of the underground area. Basement, I guess we're calling it a basement. focus on this area here. I'm going to jump in. Just to see if we can spot this guy. I don't see him. So I'm going to jump back out. Now, I did get a headshot on that monk. He should be chasing us. I don't know. Sound like something teleported right here. I didn't see it. But you notice I was shielding my backside. You can put your shield around behind you. Did you know that? If, if you run and are, 
turn and run, you can put your shield behind you, and it'll protect you from behind as well. So be aware of that. I'll do that quite a bit if I'm surrounded by folks and I'm running. I'll put my shield behind me and run. And it has saved me a few bits of damage here and there. Let's jump back in again. Okay. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Very dramatic. You know, one Tempest is a great remedy for a bat pack. Assuming they're all gathered together. Is there another stair? Okay, yeah, I came out the back side of that, so that is the first zone. No damage. A little bit of a little bit of points, not not overly much. That's, that was a pretty light zone. Let's see what's in in the shop. Just so we can use it for planning purposes. Unholy wind, blood, blood. So the only only thing we know is I'm gonna take one of the bloods because I'm down two. So as long as I'm down two, I'll take one. Just in case I get a a double. Um, but I won't take one if I'm only down one. That's a, that's a waste of a potential extra health. So we will leave that there, and we'll pick that up in a bit. All right, so we tend to have monks up there. We're going to have bats come in to visit. I'm going to go ahead and take the bats out. and take out this light and I did get the monk's attention so what I will do is stagger it for a time there's a health I'll take that one all right we're at full health now that's good okay, there's our friendly neighborhood screamer Those guys come visit, and that's good because we have a nice safe space here. And we'll wait for him. When I start hitting cycle four, I start caring stop stop caring caring about the executioner bonus. I just don't have don't have time right. Okay, so I think those guys probably stopped. Staircase there. These guys are probably right over here. Usually we've got monks up here. Let's go. Okay, I know I've got a knight to my left. This could be bad. Okay, so I want this wall right here to protect me. And when the screamer comes, I want him. You can't really stagger a screamer. that with no damage, so that's good. And we'll just make sure we have cleared out this general area and then we'll check out the downstairs. Check, always check the eaves too, because these are where these guys hang out and they'll drop an arrow on you. 
in a flash. Okay, let's kind of take a look. Sadly, this does not give us much room for drawing out bad guys. That's fine. Let's go to the other side. Is there another entrance over here? No. Nope. There's one. Okay, remember what I told you about? Sometimes you can hang out outside. This is not one of those places. Close them. Okay, uh, okay, this is good. Uh, too many, uh, too many abominations for my taste. I was looking for. You can get on these ledges and be outside and that little tiny ledge, that's that's a no-go as far as as far as it being protective. Like I said, one headshot per is good enough for me. Okay, well that's it. Downstairs done. Be afraid to use your winner's bites down there. I try to be, preserve mine to some extent, but when you get caught up in a situation like I just was, it's better to use your arrows than to die without having used them. This is also, okay, that's an active downstairs area. So we'll just keep that in mind. I have that monk. Start with that one. Lots of monks. Too many monks. More monks than I want to deal with. Okay, so we're pretty safe behind this rock. They'll come after us here in a minute once they realize, or they'll give up. don't like to get into long range combat with monks, but sometimes I do it strictly for practice. Okay, I intentionally aimed low because I, I was more interested in getting a body shot in and staggering him so he would be not shooting at me while I killed this guy. So sometimes, as I said, oftentimes the first shot being a body shot is perfectly fine in order to make it a strategic move. All right, where are we at? Oh. All right, good, we got a picture of a monk.
another monk's attention there. Alright, we should have lots of things coming after us, so let's find a funnel place or a wide open space that we can dodge around in if we need to. Stairs, which is, I believe, right here. Finish him off with a headshot. All right, we're safe there. Let's go ahead and go on in. Whoa. Hi, guys. All right, we have a funnel here. back out this way in case there's any more mobs we missed and of course there is but I think I made it through this without taking any hits. That didn't happen. I thought there was blood somewhere back here. Was there? Well, there were two in the store, so that's fine. I'm only down one, so I'm still not going to grab this blood. If I take another one, I'll come back and get it. Otherwise, I will just take the one uh, for, for Anakin at the end. All right, got lots and lots of stuff right up front. Let's start with that guy. Any day now. I missed so many because I was strictly going for headshots there. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Good exercise. Alright, we'll get this guy. up there. I know I've got those two knights, but I think I've got a monk too. Okay, so one of the monks gone. Oh, except for that one. I missed. Well, there's my two there's my two hits of health, so I can go to this. Why did you come out? Got the attention of everybody in this room. All 
All right, we're down two health. Let's go pick up one of the bloods out of the store. That's not a blood. Oh, that's right. I already picked up the other one. No, nope, only one. But you just never know. You just never know. What is it, a one in three chance of getting a double? Right. I'm tempted to go downstairs now. After I pulled. I got a red knight. That's good. I tail it back here, and I also believe I got a monk's attention. Yep, he's over there on the right. Kind of. He's a black monk. Well, oh well. I heard another monk alert, but I don't see him. All right, let's go in. Did they actually put a orphan in the basement? That I've never heard. Whatever it takes, man. Yeah. You saw I was running away as I was had my back to everything. I had my shield behind my head. All right, so we got the orphan. That is a good thing. Okay, this is good. I've already killed the sector so clearly. Yeah, that's the one I already caught. And I keep screaming out of here to get the... But is this the other one? No? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm going back to lots of attention. I like this space up here a lot. There's a lot of places for me to line the sight thing. Oh, 
Hello. Okay, so he's right up there. That's fine. We'll pull the uh, pull the Black Knight out, take him out, and then we'll go in and freeze the. out here but we're gonna that was fine <laughs> oh lord you hear me i put did you hear the ting i put my i put my shield behind my head and, and it something bounced off of it okay i don't like them being over me on the ground with me is fine look i'm right back where i was before i'll take that I'm right back where I was before, but I, I got a good, uh-oh, good safe place where I, I, my back is covered, so, okay, I think we're good, look. Don't worry about a headshot there. When they have the high ground on you, that's always a bad thing. So this is fine. This is where I came out of the hole. I met all these guys. But this gives us a killing funnel. We'll stay here until we deal with all these guys. My, what do my arrows look like? I'm out of Wrath of God, so that's a shame. But I absolutely, with between my Winter's Bite and all my cas uh, Cataclysms, that's no problem taking out Anakin with that. I would love to find a quiver and get my Wrath up, but no, no worries. <laughs> Knowing he's coming, I'm going to let him come on here to the edge, and then I'll shoot him with my winner's bite. Hello. <laughs> Tempting to shoot him in the butt, but I'm not going to. What is that? Curse of God. Tempting, tempting, tempting. But we're not going to. Curse of God really does work in this very congested area. Try and be careful and not miss. All right, that's good. Oh, hi. I let him get a little closer because I want—I really wanted to try to get a headshot on him. Now I'm going to try. I want to I pull just a few of these guys. I don't want to. I don't want to pull the monk yet. Not in this zone. Try not to miss, but when you miss, and it goes beyond, that's when they pick it up, right? Now, once I get this bat, I'm going to dip in really quickly and take out those monks as quickly as I can. Alright, 
I'm gonna have to use some winter spikes on these guys. Too many nights. <laughs> Got him in the air. Heard something growl over my shoulder. Is there anything here? No. Look, it was worth it for a few winter's bites to not have to take that damage. And now we're good for a little bit. We'll get right up in this guy's face. pull on this guy. And then I'm going to go over there on the right to where there's that one archer. And take him out before dealing with all of that mess. Just don't like that guy on my point. Okay, so we're gonna pull the Black Knight. I'm gonna winner's bite him. Just because it's gonna take a number of shots. And again, I don't wanna miss, because I don't want that monk alerted until I'm ready, which is now. monks, but the underground monks are, we got their attention a little bit, which is fine. We have to kill them anyway. Now I've got a black monk here. And you heard it, there's another one across the way. Why do I fight him until I hear him shoot? There's another one over there. Get stuck on the columns. All right. There we are. And a quiver. Isn't that special? All right. So we're going into Anakin. We're up to health, to, to full health. I have a full quiver, of, almost full quiver of Cat Fives. I have a third of a quiver of Tempest. I have a third of a quiver of Winter's Bite, of which I need one. And I have a full quiver of Wrath of God, just in case things start spawning before I get a chance to finish Anakin off here. I don't need the health, so we're just going to jump right on in. We're going to jump in. We're going to give him one headshot with a Winter's Bite. Load him up with Cataclysm, see what happens. Alright, load him. What I try to do with the Cataclysm 5, is I try to hit him in the head with the second from the top. Oh, by the way, he's dead. Ta-da! Where are you? There you are over there. Alright, he's dead. Oh, come back. Yeah, so what I try to do is, I try to hit him in the head with, when you have a cat five, you see there's five arrows. I try to hit him in the head with the second from the top. That way the other three enter his body rather than, you know, at least I'm getting a headshot with one of them, right? If I tried to do it with the top one, I would probably have two of those go in the floor, which is not bad because he's standing over them anyway. I just prefer to get him in the body with as many as possible. Well, there we have it, full health. Desolation 4, we're at uh, 1.68 million, so what were we at, 154, so that was about 140k, 100, yeah, 140k, not a great score, but I, I think a couple of, where are you, but I think a couple of those zones were a little weak as far as content, as far as mobs, as far as, as far as point 
potential. So it is what it is. I'm happy, full health, 1.64. There you have it. I uh, hope you all had a great holiday season. We are in the new year. Happy hunting. We'll see you later.